I never get the quote from Edison exactly right. He didn't want to wait until oil and gas uh, ran out before we tackled getting energy from the sun. What a power source. The problem with silicon is it is very expensive. You need hundreds and hundreds of microns to build a solar cell. This is our glass sandwich. So the cadmium telluride, that job is to convert light into electrons. The working material, the thin films, are just a tiny bit of a lot of glass on either side. And so that's one of the reasons, because you use so little material, that thin film photovoltaics are such a big deal. So sputtering is a technique whereby you put down very thin layers. Less than 100 nanometers even is what we're looking for. Remember, thinner is better, lets more light in, but it still has to be thick enough to do the job. After you put down the window layers, of course, then you have to put down the cadmium telluride. You simply place your sample on there, close it up, seal it, put the cover back on there, and then the secret is in the recipe. And this is the most important layer, really, because this is what's converting your light into the electrons. So now you've got the, the main part of the sandwich, but you gotta put the toppings on there. That's what the back contact is all about. So we're putting a cad chloride spray, and that fundamentally changes the CAD TEL structure to the point that it's a much better solar cell device. We also put it into the oven, and so you can kind of think of it like a toasted sandwich. Put the toppings on, cook it for a little while, it comes out a lot better than before you put it in. Cut. <laughs> but then you cut the sandwich. At the end of the, all that process, we have to understand just how good they are. So this is a solar simulator and will illuminate our devices with a very distinct spectrum of light so that we can measure what the efficiency is. Pretty good, very good. We're working very hard on the photovoltaic portion of that solar energy space. It's a big problem. There's environmental implications for it. We're trying to deliver on that vision that Edison had about how do we tap into the energy of the sun to solve a lot of the uh, uh, energy need challenges in the future.